Okay, it's Wednesday, my dudes. First Wednesday of March. We made it. It felt actually like spring this morning. Tons of announcements. Listen up. First one's from Swap. They're throwing an electronic waste drive. Bring your old broken laptops, monitors, phones, and cables and drop them off in the collection bins at the cafeteria entrance or at the main entrance in the morning. And Swap will sort and properly dispose of them for you. Help preserve our environment at no cost to you. Great job, Swap. Sounds fun. Uh, this is one for Mr. Worthy, so everybody should be listening, especially sophomores. Are you interested in sharpening your leadership skills and networking with sophomore leaders from across the state of Washington? If you are, then look no further for the Hobie Youth Leadership Conference. It just might be the thing for you. Blaine High School is looking for up to three ambassadors to re represent our community at this year's Hobie Youth Leadership Committee. Mr. Worthy is the school's Hobie contact and he will be holding an information session during his office hours, code JWorthy Office, at 1.50 on Thursday, March 4th. All interested sophomores are welcome to attend. There is no commitment. It's just an information session followed by some Q&A. We hope to see you there interested sophomores. Hey, if you got your picture taken, pick up your pictures at breaks in front of the office. Even if you didn't order a package, there is a picture there for you. So check in with Connie in front of the office there. Today she was outside because of the good weather. Hey, art class. Lots of you had art last year and you still have your projects there. And Mr. Smith doesn't want to get rid of them because they're good work. So if you had art last year and you need a painting or a ceramic to go pick up, please see Mr. Smith in the art room. ASB, orange and black Thursday. Wear your orange and black online or at school, orange and black Thursday. Celebrating Friday night lights, which are on Friday, but we're Thursday, you guys know the drill. Also, uh, $15, if you're in CIC or AP, you need to pay your $15 fee to Mrs. Nelson for your classes. Have a great day, board rights, but before I say that, I'm gonna introduce Mrs. Massman, who's got some tips for you. Have a great day. Thanks, Mr. Alice. Hey, I know it's the beginning of March and we have been doing school for a million months or so, but I wanted to talk to you guys about staying organized. You can use things like your phone or your planner with lots of color to get yourself organized so you know when assignments are coming up due or when you have projects that are due. Check out this video. So my first tip on staying organized is to write everything down. And when I say everything, I mean everything. I am such a forgetful person, so I definitely need some help when it comes to remembering things. So whether you wanna use sticky notes or the notes app or a calendar or my favorite option, a planner, just write every single thing that you need to do, every single important date, just write it down and you will remember it so much easier. My next tip is to use one subject per notebook. This way you will not mix up your notes. All of your notes for English are in one folder and all of your notes for math are in the other and you won't get your notes all mixed up and it will just keep you so much more organized for when you're studying and everything. And one of my favorite tips is to color code. This just keeps me so much more organized. I like to color code with colorful pens, highlighters, and I use them on my notes or in my planner. It just looks so pretty, it keeps me motivated and so organized. And now on to how I use my planner. This is a planner that I just got and I got it from Winners for only $10. So my first step is to write down any important dates and things I need to do in pen and I use my color coding method here. Then I go in with a pencil and write down things I would like to do, maybe things I wanna do with my friends and I also use sticky notes to write down my goals of the week. So again, things I would like to do with like my friends or anything. And a good tip to keep you motivated to keep using your planner is to buy planner stickers or a planner with like nice inspirational quotes and everything that just makes it fun and makes you want to use your planner. And lastly, use your planner often and bring it with you everywhere. If you bring it with you, you are gonna use it because you're gonna be lugging it around. And this tip has helped me so much because I know there's some days where I just totally forget to write in my planner, but seriously, if you bring it with you, you will remember and you will stay nice and organized and never forget anything that you write in your planner.